What is something other people do that bothers you? Tell me what to do when I'm already doing it. Similarly, I hate being reminded to do something before I have had a chance to do it. I haven't forgotten. Give me a goddamn chance. Asking you a yes slash no question, then acting offended when you say no. Edit. Holiches. I wasn't expecting to be so relatable. It was awfully confusing that things were yes no questions as a kid, but actually were not. Then later claimed I didn't have to if I didn't want to, but if I complained I didn't want to it was actually mandatory? It made no sense. Throw garbage on the street. People who shove plastic bottles in bushes. Not using headphones in public. Are you talking about those that jam their music loudly in public? Bring others down to make themselves look good. Putin, is that you? Take pleasure in making someone else feel embarrassed or ashamed. I hate this with a pay and two. I don't care if someone makes a boneheaded move, I want to help them fix it or learn better. It seems like it takes a special kind of insecure sadist to mock people for making a mistake. When people talk obsessively about themselves. Have you ever been trapped in a convo where the person just non-stop talks about themselves? It's not a conversation. It's glorified campaign boost for the other person. I hate that. Or when in a convo with someone, they talk and talk, and the minute you say anything, they completely ignore it and or find someone else to talk at. Orming they are right without any evidence slash reason to believe they are right except them being the ones that said it. And then just not listening to any new evidence slash reasons. Edit and not be willing to change viewpoints. Cut people off while driving and fail to use their turning signal. Not only is it dangerous and increases the chance of an accident, but it also requires very little effort to not do. I hate it when they cut you off then slow down. Disrespect things that don't belong to them. We should be trying to leave things better than we found them, but instead people are so self-absorbed. My roomer did this with my car and car stereo. I let him drive once and forbade him from using my car ever again. I would have let him use it when I wasn't using it if he didn't speed, hit the curb, and blow out one speaker. He's a jacker. Litter. My cousin is litters constantly in the car shell throw stuff out the window. If on foot shell just drop it. She's an Instagram model and she'll make her brother stand up in front of an entire restaurant to take pictures of her. I hate people. Talk behind people backs and take out their problems on people who've done nothing wrong. People talk bad about each other all the time at my work. It makes it so uncomfortable to try to be pleasant and social because I feel like I can't trust anyone. Chew with their goddamn mouth open. The sounds. The teeth sucking. The tongue slapping. Just shoot me. Bully. Making someone feel bad about themselves. It doesn't benefit the bully in any way, and I fail to understand why people do it. People usually bully because making someone feel bad makes them feel good. As if they're not worth nothing, since the bully is worth less than them. Usually a result of trauma, abuse, neglect or being bullied themselves, either in the past or at the moment. Animal cruelty. Yes. Thank you. I don't even understand how people can be mean to animals. Like WTH is wrong with you. Drive in the left lane and go below the speed limit. It's the worst when they're in the left lane and no one is in the right lane like get tf over. Not putting shopping carts back. The worst is when they are left smack dab in a parking space. Right? Why make someone else's life harder when you could not? Exist. Hey man. It's not my fault. It's because I think. Therefore I have to. Wear their ducking masks under their noses. Just as pointless as having your egg hang out of your underwear. But. But my egg has to breathe. Capitalize every word in their sentence like this. Still better than a hand clap between each word. Walking in Maliv groups on sidewalks and jogging paths. I get that you wanted to walk together as a whole group, but please understand people are behind you trying to get by. Yeah and they're oblivious to anyone behind them too. Licking their finger before handing a paper to me from a stack or before counting out money to me. That's just nasty. How else will they taste the souls of the trees? 
Not washing your hands after using a public bathroom really bugs the chis out Tammy, especially in places where we touch a lot of things, casino, hotel, restaurant. I stopped someone in the gym toilets once and told him to wash his hands. He just looked sheepish and came back without making any eye contact. So grim to think he'd be going machine to machine spreading his grim hands around. Walk slow when I can't go around them. It's great that you don't have anywhere to be, but I do. Yeah, all those groups of 3 to 4 friends walking beside each other slowly down the path and blocking a 2 meter wide area. This is not your damn walkway. Others need to use it and have places to be. Get aggressive over other people's opinions. Discussion is fine, but don't clog my reddit dms plz. What kind of opinions are people ming you about? I've made a lot lot of opinionated comments that got downvoted to hell, but almost no one ever dms me about them. Replying all unnecessarily on emails. I don't need to know that you received the schedule for the week, Cheryl. I don't need to hear you congrats on Megan from another department, who I've never even met minor promotion. I get well over 30 unnecessary mls from this a day. This one grad student in my department always accidentally hits reply all and the follows up with another reply all email saying, please ignore that last email, hit reply all by accident. PLS no, you're making it worse. People who think they're better than everyone else and that their opinion matters more than yours depends on whose opinion it is and on what it's about. A doctor's opinion on a disease is worth way more than mine. When you politely remind them about something they need to do, they blow up at you and proceed to forget about the thing they needed to do. I felt this. I don't like when people spit in front of me. Spit grosses me out outside of sexual stuff. Good thing you clarified with that second part haha. <laughs> Eating loudly. Nam 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 slurp nam ciipahhh they say it's a polite thing to do when eating ramen in Japan and a cultural thing in some parts of China. But it's still got him annoying. Yup one of the horrifying parts of moving to China for sure. It shows appreciation and satisfaction to the host slash chef. Between the slurping and sucking and how many things go into your mouth and come back out, most meat is bite sized and half meat slash fat and half bone slash gristle. It's difficult for those with western sensibilities. I can't stand when people say, excuse you, edit to clarify, when accidentally colliding with someone or getting too close. In my own personal experience, these individuals are never seen taking responsibility for their own invasions of other people's personal space and seem to never use excuse me instead. Do their parents teach them this? I don't usually see it in isolated incidents, but serially as if they don't even know the proper phrase. I've made up my mind next time I get you should watch where you're going. You should put Eric in your mouth and see what happens. Last time I got it was definitely not deserved so duck that. Not covering their mouth when they cough or sneeze. Methodicas that sound like a humpback whale exhaling through their blowhole every damn time they take a drink. Lmao this made me laugh. Orming what and going to say and interrupt me before I'm even halfway through my sentence. My wife does this. Oh hey, I was going to tell you, this weekend yeah, your mom wants us to come visit. No, let me finish. This we owe. Yeah, we need to go grocery shopping this weekend. Duck it. You go grocery shopping with my mom. I'll take Jim this weekend to eat at that restaurant you keep wanting to try. It's literally the only thing we fight about. She can't shut her mouth long enough to let me finish my sentences. Forcing their unsolicited opinions on me. Chew loudly with their mouth open. Picking arguments over dumb things or being contrary just for the sake of it. Like flat earthers or anti vaxxers I agree, but just to play devil's advocate here. Leave mess after eating in a public place or even in private. Clean up after yourself. One time a barista paid for my coffee at Starbucks because the day before I'd been drinking my coffee and these four men dressed in business suits left their cups, food wrappers, and a bunch of napkins and other garbage on their table and I rolled my eyes and just without thinking cleaned it up. Seriously, there are garbages and recycling bins by the doors as you leave. Get fuwuwakt. 
People who get up extremely early in the morning by choice, then get an attitude like everyone who's still sleeping, is a lazy unmotivated sloth. In addition to this, people who have to wake up early for work, but because they can't sleep in, means that you can't sleep in, and require you to wake up earlier than necessary, because they said so. I get it, your job gets bills, insurance, vehicles, and the house paid for, and I'm thankful for that. That doesn't mean you have to wake me up for school, that I am unable to be laid to- There is no reason to wake me up. At the very least give me a legitimate reason to wake up early, not a bulch's one or an insinuation of because I said so. I swear it's just out of spite or jealousy. Remain ignorant. I can't stand it. It doesn't matter what it is, if they stop educating themselves I lose a mile of deal of respect for them. Learn. Continue to learn. Always learn as much as you can. Please. I agree. In this day and age, where formal education is pretty accessible, at least in my country, and you can learn basically anything informally from the internet, there's no excuse to remain ignorant. Putting something back on the wrong shelf at the grocery store, please don't ever do that. Putting refrigerated or frozen foods on a non-refrigerated shelf. Thanks for ruining the food you idiot. When you simply didn't hear what somebody said, and they repeat it super slow and louder in an obnoxious tone. I'm not mentally impaired, just cold and hear your mumble. Super slow, in an obnoxious tone difference between repeating with enunciation, and being a jacker. Tell you about what zodiac sign they are. Or worse ask you what your zodiac sign is, and then judge you based on it. Well you don't seem like a Scorpio. Show up at the beach and blast music. My friends and I once went to the beach, and parked ourselves at this secluded area. There were a bunch of people there, and they all contributed to the chill atmosphere around. Clearly everyone around wanted the quiet, since 90% of the beach were full of kids and partying teens, but this one part of it. In comes this older dude seemingly parling through, and blasting reggae extremely loudly. I like reggae, and it was Bob Marley so hey, I could have been more annoyed at the disruption. The dude however parked himself among us, and stayed for a good while. I could almost hear everyone else groan. But it wasn't, until the song ended, and then went on repeat that someone quietly asked the man to lower his music. He was mad. Apparently everyone loved him playing, and he could not hear anyone else complaining. Then a friend of mine sprung up, and did the same. This idiot took 15 minutes to convince to leave, and we were also baffled by his lack of consideration for others. TL, doctor, dude blasting reggae on repeat in the quiet area of the beach had no situational awareness and got mad at us for pointing it out. Let their kids run wild and disrupt everyone else because you can't be bothered to tell them no. You must be talking about the people in the apartment next to me. She has three kids and they can be heard running around and screaming at all hours. Had to call our courtesy officer a couple nights ago at 3.30 a.m. Okay here goes. My roommate gets out of the shower and dries up on the carpet. I have learned to never go in there with socks on. Cooks horrible smelling meals and leaves the scraps in the kitchen sink. Leaves exactly one side of the sink full of dirty dishes all the time. While leaving one sink full of dirty dishes he loads up the dish strainers to overflowing so. Even if I wanted to cook something I have to clean and then put the dishes away because there is nowhere to put them to dry. Parks his mountain bike in the kitchen because he oughtest want to get it wet by leaving it outside. In. The. Kitchen. Has 9 pairs of shoes scattered by the front door. Leaves the stove top covered with dirty pans and leaves his cast iron frying pans in the oven. I cannot tell you how many time I have tried to put something in the over, only to slam the dish I'm putting in there against his ducking frying pans. D. Dries off on the carpet. Like. He rolls around like a dog. To get dry after showering. What the duck. Bully and make comments to other people in public, because they are different to them. Leave them the hell alone. They are not bothering anyone. Why does their sexuality, gender, dress sense etc. bother you so much? It makes me so angry. Post videos of themselves slash friends helping homeless people. You don't need to film it, just be a good person. Lol I asked a friend who did that why he was filming himself doing it, and he said it spreads awareness Ate you think people didn't know they can help homeless people before your video? Talk over me while I'm mid-sentence. 
It's so ducking disrespectful. Everyone deserves a chance to express themselves. Not think. Think. Well that's just too ironic. Get up from a table and on scoot the chair back under the table. Chomping food noises. I try to not do this as much as possible. My mouth is a freaking amplifier and everyone around gets the experience of hearing me eat food. I've tried eating slow. Nope. Doesn't work. This is a curse. Telling me what to do. Unless we're naked in the bedroom, you're not the boss of me, and I refuse to listen to you. Suck my rig. Tell me details about other people's sex lives, and or slash trauma when it's not important in some way about the people actually having the conversation. It's none of my goddamn business, I don't want to know, and you shouldn't be spreading this stuff around without their go ahead. Also sticking an iPad slash iPhone in front of their kid in a relatively quiet area with the volume high. Either the give the child some ducking earphones, or, better yet, actually interact with them. Agree to things, and then cancel slash don't respond at the last minute. Honestly, I used to be pretty flaky myself, but I hated how guilty I felt after abruptly cancelling. There's a sentiment that true friends will still be your friends, even if you have other commitments, but that shouldn't be the mantra when, if someone does something like this constantly, and doesn't put effort into your mutual commitment to something. I always feel guilty too. Recently in the past couple months I haven't been feeling up to social anything really. I can't tell if it's depression or what it is. But hanging out with people anymore is just hard. I always try to let people know I can't or don't want to. But it's hard to speak up ya know. I always get scared I'll get told off for showing disinterest. So I push through at times and just feel so bored or like a drag. This was a nice wake up call for me though. I need to sort this out so I can maintain and nurture my friendships again. Entitlement. Others disobeying the COVID-19 rules will mayo I'm sorry, but I wanna get out of this world crisis as soon as possible yet people still seem like they want to spread the bloody virus so it lasts longer but still complain. What the actual duck? My coworkers seem to have decided that COVID-19 is no longer around and they are always way too much up in my space. I didn't like being that close to people before COVID-19. I love everyone standing 6 feet apart and not having to shake hands. Load the dishwasher wrong. Like holy duck it's not that complicated. I've never had a dishwasher. Go easy on me. Saying you look tired. Go duck yourself. Well you look just shy of the grave Karen. But some things are rude to comment on. Hypocritical behavior. My dad slurps his coffee and it irks me every time. People that spell her QRK. When they purposefully antagonize you, like playfully disagreeing with everything, mishearing things, etc, to irritate you. Once you're irritated they get all defensive like that wasn't the whole point. My so does this. I love everything about him, and I don't mind a little teasing and playfulness, but damn it'd be nice if he could recognize when the people on the other end have stopped laughing or being in on the joke. He's getting better about it, but it would still be what I'd write down under what's one thing your partner does that bothers you? If I was given one of those old magazine relationship quiz things, or whatever. Stopping in high traffic areas like the top of an escalator. When they put their chewed gum on the plate, while they eat just thaw it away after the meal. Look at Mr. Moneybags over here who can afford to chew multiple pieces of gum in a single day. Complaining about something other people do without realizing that they also do it. Use a recent event as a guise for malicious acts. When people just don't get straight to the point about something. They dance around the subject and I'm supposed to try to figure out what that person actually meant. Ain't nobody got time for that. Speak to me. Was going to post this. Now I'll just upvote yours instead. Eat slash crunch ice with their freaking mouths open. Chewing food with your mouth open is terrible, but ice, omfg, you get the added sound of the crunches and the ice moving around in their mouths. Even thinking about it is pissing me off. Chew with their mouth open. People who are racist, and people who mistake BLM with only BLM. It means black lives matter too. 
No freedom till we are equal damn right I support it. Breathe audibly. Nervous asthma noises. People don't have humility. They don't admit when they are wrong. They don't see the other person's perspective. They refuse to change and better themselves as a person since they always point the finger at the other. Asking for advice on the same issue over and over and then choosing to ignore said advice and making the same mistake over and over. Those are assholes. When you're driving and listening to music or watching TV, then the person you're with starts watching videos on their phone with the sound all the way up. Listens to reply not to understand. Not closing the door when they leave my room. When people type long paragraphs without using a single comma, please use commas. You got it, my friend. Answer a different question than the one being asked. Example which is healthier to drink, juice or milk? Their answer drink water. Had this the other day. Do you think I can still make it in half an hour if there's traffic? There will be traffic that's not what I asked. Oh my. You watched until the end? That's ducking awesome dude. Thanks for watching.